Hello, my beautiful YouTube friends, Letty here, Living Life with Letty. And in this video, I want to talk about the monsoon weather here in Arizona and what it can do if you suffer from arthritis or any type of chronic pain that is affected by the weather. Before I get started, though, I want to give uh, thanks to Flora. Thank you so much for your wonderful gift. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. And I want to also thank everyone, not just those that are giving me gifts, but just for subscribing and for watching my videos. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, since I've been here, uh, which is, you know, two months now, I left Austin in my van on June 7th. So I have been in my van since June 7th. And um, since I've been here, I have gained almost 300 subscribers. So I am so thankful for all you new subscribers. I really appreciate you subscribing and watching my videos and supporting me in that way. It means the world to me. Um, I do these videos because it helps me. It, it really helps me to take my mind off my uh, problems and my pain sometimes and it gives me something to look forward to and there's nothing more exciting when I upload a video and then I start seeing your comments and I try to uh, respond to all your comments as much as possible but I want to do a video a separate video just answering all your questions because everyone has questions and I try to answer them as much as possible but then if I answer them in the comments, other people may not see them. So I want to do a video and just specifically answer your questions. Um, so I want to talk about, in this video, I want to talk about the rain, the monsoon that they call in Arizona, the monsoon season, which we're in it right now, which is just a lot of rain. Uh, here in the forest, uh, we, we do have a lot of elevation. I'm at, I think we're at 7,400 feet uh, up, so we do get a lot of rain, but we don't get flooding because we're so high up. I guess the flooding goes down to the valley, but that doesn't mean that the uh, precipitation and the barometric pressure doesn't change, <clears throat> and that's what affects people that suffer from any kind of chronic disease, chronic pain disease or inflammation because it does get worse. And I want to share a little information <clears throat> that I have found throughout the years uh, because, uh, you know, when I'm in pain, I want to I want to know why there are times that I'm in more pain than others. And what I learned was that it has a lot to do with the barometric pressure. Now, the normal barometric pressure should be at 29.92 when it goes up it's okay usually it doesn't affect you but when it goes down below 29.92 then for some unknown reason to me the it does cause pain and so what i do is whenever i start feeling a lot of pain and it's raining i go to a website called uh, pain weather pain index weather pain index if you google that it'll take you to a website that's going to ask you for your zip code if you enter your zip code it's going to tell you what the pain index in your area is and it's like a pie chart and so it'll tell you moderate or you know it'll tell you mild or moderate or whatever and it goes all the way to very very bad and, and, and so that way you know, you know why you're having pain because before I could never understand why am I having so much pain today? Um, you know, yesterday I didn't have any. And then when I would look at the weather and look at that pie chart at the pain, uh, weather pain index, then I can understand and I can explain to myself that, hey, it's not in my head. I'm not making this up. Uh, the pain is due to the weather. And so, you know, then I know what to do. And then I can beef up a little bit more on my pain meds. And let me tell you, friends, uh, when it's uh, the, the, the rain started about a week ago. 
and when it started I was in severe excruciating pain I had to bring out my big guns and I don't bring out the big guns just for nothing which is prednisone because prednisone is a very good thing on one side of it because it does help you and it does calm down the flare-ups and it but extended too much use of prednisone can cause bone uh, your bones to deteriorate because it happened to me at the beginning when I was first diagnosed with it with this disease they were giving me prednisone like candy and I hadn't researched it because this was you know over 20 years ago and I was taking prednisone because it would make me feel so good well as a result of all those years of taking prednisone my osteoporosis became so advanced that my bones were so brittle that you know I broke I broke uh, two bones I broke a hip and a shoulder just from tripping on my own feet from falling on my own feet I broke bones and then when I was told you know your your osteoporosis is very advanced they had to put me on medication to start rebuilding my bones then I realized and, and I was told, you know, prednisone does that. It robs you of all the calcium in your bones. Uh, it does something to your bones. So I don't like to take prednisone. I take it very sparingly, very lightly, and only when I am in excruciating pain. And this week, my friends, I have been. I've been, um, you know, taking extra ibuprofen, which I don't like to take either. And I've been taking prednisone and I've been taking anything that I can find to relieve the pain. But luckily, we're having a beautiful day today. Today, I am in hardly no pain at all. I haven't had to take anything. And uh, the sky is blue. Uh, we have beautiful clouds uh, that are white. They're not gray. I don't know if rain is coming. I haven't looked at the weather yet because I haven't been in pain. But that's what I wanted to share with you in case you don't know if you, this information because I didn't know this information. I found out, you know, just through trial and error, Googling here and Googling there to find out, you know, why sometimes I'm in more pain than others. And then I found out. So I just wanted to share that with you. And again, I want to thank everyone for being so supportive of my channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to try and do more videos. I know uh, for a while there I wasn't putting in a lot of videos. And it was probably because I wasn't feeling uh, up to it because of the pain. But I'm going to try and do more videos. And please comment below and tell me what you would like me to talk about. Uh, what topics. Because sometimes it is kind of hard to find topics all the time and topics that are going to interest you because I don't want to put videos out just for the sake of putting videos out. I want to put videos out that will be either informative, that'll help you in some way, or some sort of topic that you are interested in. So please let me know. I really appreciate it. So this is uh, it for today. Thank you so much for joining me, my friends. And may the sun shine on you today and every day, especially on our solar panels. I love you all. Bye-bye.